What's going on, fellas and lady fellas? Still Lux Drew here. Chilling on the Earth SMP server. Chopping down some trees. Trying to get a little bit of saplings going so we can get a tree farm started maybe today. Because uh, wood's a pretty valuable thing. Got my uh, my friend the sheep here that we can just pull around in the boat. I, he got himself caught in there. Mobs seem to do that. Like they just they'll just randomly run in the boats. So I'm thinking about just leaving a bunch of boats laying around and just like catching people. Uh, you can see down there I've planted some sugar cane. Uh, first order of business today is to actually make that book because the book and quill is actually like really important to keeping me organized. So I've got three paper, three feathers, three ink sacks, and some leather here. So we're actually going to make the book. And then I think you just add the feather and the ink, and then you get a book and quill. So uh, you can't rename the book and quill, uh, because if you edit it, the name will just get changed. So uh, I'm just going to leave it as book and quill, and I'll just carry it around with me uh, as we go through the game. Uh, so, I'm actually gonna type a little bit in here and just kind of show you how I do this. So, the first page, I usually just make the table of contents. Alright, there we go. So, here's a little example that we got, uh, here. So, I just click done, and it saves it in the book. So, we got the table of contents here. Uh, we got pages 2 through 5 will be our world chords, 5 through 10 nether chords, and 10 through 15 will give us a nice little to-do list. So, then we got... So this will be world chords, world chords, world chords, world chords, and then from so here will be our to-do list. So I'll just go ahead and uh, this is gonna be not even, I don't think. To-do, that's I don't think that's even, but it's cool. Uh, and then we can just put like uh, a dash or whatever, and then blah blah blah. So I guess our first thing on our to-do list is gonna be a tree farm. So then we click done, open it up, put this back in the table of contents. We're going to have to click a little bit to get through it, to get to where our line we need to be, but I think there's, there's a reasonable amount of uh, of stuff here. Uh, we should first try to fill in our coordinates. So the first coordinates I want to get is spawn. I should I guess I title each section, so this is going to be, I guess we'll start from here. Overworld chords. So then we got spawn is going to be, and then we'll do bracket, and then whatever the chords are, and then another bracket at the end. So we want to get spawn, and then we want to get our, uh, uh, let's see here, the mountain base, and then uh, we'll add in other people's bases as we go through. But uh, So that's going to be the start of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and throw in the spawn cords. So we're going to take a little trip over to spawn, and uh, I'll see you guys once we get over there. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I left, and I came back, and I had a good idea. So we're going to uh, talk about some stuff here. So first of all, I've got two diamonds. I'm going to take a diamond and buy 32 more fish at uh, Ustrani's Fish Shop. Uh, I got all this iron and stuff. I went... Uh, down in this cave, and there's like a really cool bear in my shaft that I found. Um, so that was cool. But anyway, I want to make a map. So we're going to take four iron, and we're going to take some of that redstone that I got, and we're going to make ourselves a compass. Boom. And then we need to get some sugar cane, which I think I left in him. No, he has sugar. Oh, he has 32 bread. Okay, so maybe we won't buy fish just yet. Uh, I want to save my diamonds because they're precious. I didn't even mine those. I uh, I found them in a in a abandoned mine shaft chest. But oh, I know I have sugar cane in one of these chests. There it is. Uh, I'm not sure how much paper this is gonna make. Uh oh, lag. Come on, there we go. Uh, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. So let's make. There's the empty map. So we're going to right-click with this in the middle of spawn, and it should make spawn the center, and then the, we, we'll go off from there. So that way we always have, like, the spawn map. And I'm going to zoom it out, like, a ton. Uh, did I even show off this farm? I built a farm, kind of. 
It's like a little tiny cheap farm, but yeah. All right, so now I'll see you guys uh, in spawn. Well, now that I've got all this stuff settled out, so uh, I'll see you guys then. So here we are, guys, back at spawn. Uh, we live, just so you get a little frame of reference, here is the spawn point of the world. And we live just about over there. That's where the mountain is. Uh, we follow some rivers. I'll take you guys on the trip home. But uh, first, we pop up my F3 menu, hit right click here and fill in these coordinates the only bad thing is you can't like skip ahead in the book so you have to like be very wary that you don't try to skip ahead like see how i had to take away like the mountain base chords like right there so uh we'll just do rough estimate chords so it's like negative 475 uh and then 73 and then 280. Uh, so there's those coordinates. And then the next ones we want to put in is the mountain base. So we'll go ahead and get that one started. Uh, then we got extra pages. Uh, this is nether cord pages right here, right? 2 to 5 and then uh, 6 to 10. So this is nether cords. And then this is to-do list. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we got that all set up. Take off that F3 menu. Don't want to have that on for the rest of the video. Uh, hey, it's kind of like a staircase. Is there string on top of these two? Yeah, there is. I wonder if they're there on purpose. The three, two, one. Uh, oh, there's... Oh, yeah, the map, the map, the map. Okay, so we got the map here. It's the map. It's the map. Okay, so I'm going to right-click right here. So this is a spawn map. You can see the layout of spawn and everything. And we it's actually in our favor because we live this way. So it will it's going to be able to show our house pretty soon. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually make a crafting table right now. Even though I could probably find one like right over. Yep, there it is. I knew it. You know what we're going to do? There we go. <laughs> um, and we'll scale this up just a bit. Did that not scale it up? Did I do that wrong? I feel like I did that wrong. Okay. Hold on. Let me look this up real quick. <sighs> well, guys, we just experienced a bug. Uh, apparently, if you zoom out a map and shift click, it just consumes the paper and doesn't actually zoom your map out. Like, I did the recipe correct. But I shift clicked, so everything got all screwed up, which sucks. So while we're here, I guess we could just uh, take a little peek inside of the redstone shop, see if he's got any shop things up here. Requests and... Oh, okay. So he's doing all the redstone building himself, huh? Request redstone builds for a price. Okay. All right, I see. I was under the impression... Let's see if anyone has any requests right now. Three Jeb doors needed. Holy crap. Three Jeb doors, huh? That's something. That's like a collab right there type thing. Okay, let's make sure we put the right book and quill back in there. Okay, cool. Um, see, I was under the impression that he was going to be like selling pistons and sticky pistons and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, we learned something new today. Um, so let's go on a little run back home, and I'll just show you kind of where we are. So this is spawn. I'm pointing with my finger right now, but this is where they spawned. If you come out this way and to the left and up here, there's a bridge. So uh, you just kind of run over this way. You can kind of follow my little dude on the map. Uh, there's a bridge right here, and... You just kind of follow the bridge across. I'm kind of I'm gonna peek in the goodie boxes because I do that. Uh, I asked if I could be the one to design like a a design in this tunnel and fix it up, make it look all pretty. And Ustrini said that that was all right. So uh, that's one thing that uh, we're gonna do uh, that I should add to the to-do list right now. Okay, we got the tunnel in the to-do list now. Uh, so that's cool. The one thing they should add to the to-do list is being able to click and delete certain things off of the lines. I think that would be really good. 
Uh, but so yeah, this is in here. Uh, I kind of made like this on accident. It's a little boat parking spot, I guess, because I always drive my boat down here and try to stop it, but then it'll like go flying or whatever. So this was already here, which is kind of bothers me because it's too wide and it should be like three wide. But uh, what this is is just two water streams pushing into each other, so your boat gets caught in it. So I can get out of my boat and let it like do the ghost ride thing, and it will always get caught here, which is pretty good. So I'm actually going to show you guys where uh, we are in the world. So you go from the tunnel, you go, you just follow the river. Uh, oh, are we going to catch a squid? Uh, you follow the river, uh, this little river right here. It gets skinny at some points, and there are some blockages, like right here, but I managed to fix them. It seems people primarily like to use horses to get around in the server, so there's gonna there might be people like trolling me by building little bridges around, but... Uh, I can just take care of them. The, the way to fix that is just make more bridges. Like, just put, like, a bridge, like, here or something that I can just drive my boat underneath. Uh, but there seems to be plenty of animals here that I can grab uh, for my little farm, uh, for any my farming purposes or whatever. Uh, yeah, sh plenty of sheep and cows and different types of trees and all that stuff. Uh, so we got plenty of resources here, plenty of wood and all of that. If I ever need to go take down an entire forest to uh, to fix all that stuff. So then you come out here into this ocean and you hang a little left here and you just kind of head in this general direction. I'm not sure what my coordinates are, but uh, we're about to get them and put them down in the book. So that'll uh, help us out a lot. Uh, it's making me think I went in the wrong direction. I just have to hang a little bit more of a left here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. You have to hang a pretty sharp left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like right around this way. Remember, uh, you guys didn't see this footage, but Ustrini and I, uh, we transported this donkey and the mule over. He had Frostwalker boots, and I was riding the donkey and pulling the mule with a lead. And we were it was we did it at night, so the frost uh, the Frostwalker ice didn't disappear. Uh, so he just made like a little path for me to get all the way home with these guys. So these guys will help us further explore. Uh, this area which is awesome but uh come on get out of the boat i hit shift there we go so now we're home and i can throw in the coordinates uh for this book so i'll hit f3 and boom there we are got the mountain base in there and then whatever next can go in there but that's awesome uh so more plans for this episode we could oh, i want to zoom this map out that's for sure, but I can just do that off camera another time. Um, I'll probably just grab the old mule and just kind of walk around that forest over there and all that stuff. But right now, I don't know. I don't know if you noticed this from last episode. I kind of shaved off a layer of this mountain that was here, and I want to. It's like the perfect shape, you know, just right in here, just a nice little bear den, man, like. It just fits in there. I just see that's where a bear den should be. And then I that's like I just want some sort of shelter to keep me safe from the, all the uh all the just things here. But uh I need to make something real quick though. I'm pretty sure what I want is here's gray and then here's light gray. So what wool looks more like uh, this here? Let me let me show you what kind of I have to do. I'm gonna I don't know, just kind of oh, there's a cave right there, but I can uh, fix it. Just kind of carve away at the mountain here. I don't want it to be at all even or anything, but this is sort of a shape that I want, like just like this little curve right there oh, let's see oh i accidentally made it perfect <laughs> dang it okay uh let's throw a little bit of that in there a little bit of this a little bit of that see now that's too straight right there see that screams bear to me does that scream bear to you this is screaming bear to me right now um i'm gonna shave a little bit more of this away maybe get some because i my goal i want to dig in here make a little dome not a perfect dome at all, but like a cavey looking dome. So I want it to open up here. 
I just want to look. I want to look nice. But another uh, thing that I was just talking about is with the wool. I want to do the trick where you put a hole right here with uh, the carpet over, like string, and then carpet over top, and it looks it looks like it blends in sort of, uh, but it it prevents mobs from just walking in. Because of their AI, they won't try to walk across the carpet because they don't think they can. Which is the same reason that these donkeys and or this donkey and mule don't walk out of the uh, the pen here by just jumping on top of the carpet. It's the same type of deal here. Uh, so the concept is, uh, I would dye this kid right here, whatever color uh, I think looks more like stone, basically. I, ha I know I have shears in here. Where the heck are my shears? <laughs> I guess I'll just make another pair. I swear I had shears. Well, alright, I guess I lost a pair of shears. But, so, I'm not sure, does this look more like stone? I'm pretty sure it's the light gray stuff that looks a lot more like stone. But, uh, I'll just wait for, I think, does he eat his, uh, does he eat grass when he's in the boat? I hope so. Um, I don't know. So I guess we'll, we'll just do a little comparison. I'm also going to smelt up some stone here uh, just while we're waiting because I'm going to need to fill in some stone down here. But I'm going to get to carving away at this uh, and trying to make a, like as much of a natural cave as I possibly can. I'm going to need to make some new picks, though. I've got plenty of iron, though. I'm going to need to make a lot more furnaces and stuff. I just want a little place to... Not like a formal base at all. Just a little place where I can put some stuff down and call home for now until I get a better network of uh, cave systems set up and all that. Alright, so here's sort of what I'm talking about. Uh, you've got the little trench here, and then um, you obviously wouldn't have a torch right here. You'd have stone. So you've got this. I mean, the light gr Okay, it's definitely the light gray if we're going to do this. Um, but the real question is, do we want to do this? Uh, I, I think it looks, I don't think it looks that bad. The light gray, definitely. If you block that part out, like, that doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's obvious that it's not stone, but it still blends in. And it's gonna do exactly what we want it to do. We're not gonna have creepers walking in, into here or anything. Uh, it's not gonna look exactly how we want it. We're gonna have to deal with the, uh... I mean, on the other hand, if we don't want to do that... We have to just suck it up and deal with the creepers walking in our stuff, uh, which I really don't want. Um, I just think this could has the potential to be really awesome at nighttime. Like, I don't want to, like, see how all this is lit up? I don't want it to be lit up. I want it to be, like, spooky out here. Like, I want us, like, if we were standing on this mountain, the only light I want to see is the, the soft light coming out of the cave, because I think that would be really awesome. Uh, so... I carved this out a little bit. This side came along better than this side, but this side looks more, like, unnatural, I guess. Because this side kind of has, like, a uniform lip to it, I guess. Uh, but we're going to have to fix some of this, how there's, like, that dirt sitting on top of the stone. I want this to be a full stone brim, and then I'm going to, like, terraform some dirt on top of it, maybe. I just don't think the mixture of stone and uh, dirt looks that good. But... Uh, I think it's a pretty good start to the actual cave here. Uh, I think it looks really nice uh, and stuff. So I'm going to maybe expand this map and we can maybe walk over this way uh, on the donkey and see, or on the mule because he's faster, but uh, we can see what we can find. So I'm going to get kitted up here, get some stuff together. I'm going to throw some stuff, just random stuff in this chest, honestly. Uh, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I found the shears, by the way. I, uh, I'm an idiot. I don't know how I didn't see them before. I just went, it's just like that. It's that YouTube blindness, man. You just go blind whenever you record a YouTube video. You just, you can't ever see anything, you know? Uh, I'm mostly ready here, though. All right, guys, mostly ready here. I just got to make this paper and zoom out this map, and we should be good to go. Uh, another thing, if you want this 3D texture pack, uh, I can teach 
I'm not allowed to give a download link because I don't own the textures. Uh, however, I am allowed to make a tutorial uh, showing how to make it. So that is something that I could do. Apparently I'm too far north for this map to load. Um, I guess I'll just take it the full length. Boom. Yeah, okay, so our base is just too north of spawn to have this map, like, work. So, uh, if I had an anvil, which I can create one, uh, I'll just rename this one to the spawn map. Damn, dude, we have, we have so much iron. This is ridiculous. What? Okay, I was like, oh, there's no way I made two anvils. I, like... It's not possible. Okay, so I don't. I think the name should stay the same. This is gonna be the spawn map. There we go. We'll just keep this one in here. Um, paper in there, iron in here, whatever. This is. Oh yeah, I got an Aqua Affinity book, a name tag, and an emerald when I went caving that one time. This this episode is all over the place, man. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and hop in, Mr. Muley here. He's got nothing in his saddle. Uh, let's just get out of here. He's way faster than the um, the donkey, uh, which I don't have names for either of them yet. But uh, he is much faster and a much better jumper. So uh, there's a dog there. We could get a dog. That would be cool. Um, we're just going to do a little exploration off to the... What is direction is this? In the north. Let's keep heading north, failure. Screw the sail. Uh, but looks like there's some more mountains up here, which could be uh, more building potential uh, over in this direction. Um, of oh, uh, another thing, uh, I just want to talk to you guys while uh, about Minecraft while I'm kind of exploring here. Um, I want to do some villager breeding this season. I, it's one thing I never really mess with that looks really fun. I've just never done any sort of villager breeding except for in uh, reincarnated SMP the first season I um, I was gonna make that villager uh, farm where you use the farming villagers and they replant your crops for you and that would have been really awesome look at this generation right here like the it goes like right up into that little orb and there's a little pillar right there this is such an awesome area right here but uh, I guess we're just something to look for uh, the point of this journey is to get new trees, uh, get the different types of wood and stuff. That would be a, that's a cool goal. Grab some more types of wood. But, uh, yeah, villagers, though. I want to make, like, a villager breeder and all that. And with the cartographer coming up, I think that would be a really valuable resource for the entire server. I think it'd be really fun to get some people together, uh, get, try to get the whole server together and fight a woodland mansion whenever uh, that comes out. Because uh, I talked to Ustrini, and he said that whenever the snapshots stop crashing uh, worlds and corrupting worlds, uh, that he wants to move on to the snapshots. Wow, this is like a really bad island. Like, it's just all extreme hills and nothing else. This this place over here looks really cool, though. I think I'm actually just going to start killing some of these sheep, just because I can. And I need food. And they're like a one-shot if you get the crit. Uh, yeah, I'm running low on food, though. I was actually going to buy food from spawn. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a really cool thing. Like, it would be really funny if, like, I paid, uh, uh, I, forget, I think Legacy is Legacy's Redstone shop, shop, I believe. If I paid Legacy to build, like, a villager breeder, and then I just took all the credit for it. <laughs> like, I just put my name all over it and stuff. I think that would be so funny. Like, even though he built it, I could still get credit for it because I paid him. Uh, but yeah, with the, all the villagers and stuff, there's just so many possibilities, and that would, uh, make it so I can make some cool shops and spawn, like, I can sell villagers to people, and villagers aren't cheap, you know, so I could get a, possibly a ton of money for, uh, for selling vi villagers, like a ton of diamonds and all that, by just selling mobs, I think that would be a, a really cool thing, oh, I didn't bring a bed, so we're going to explore at night here. That's going to do it 
for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, getting to get a little bit more settled in each time we play. It was always a good thing. Um, I got to explore, got to get this book all ready. Uh, next time, we can maybe uh, explore a little bit more, try to find a village, look into more villager uh, breeding type things, that sort of stuff. Get a little bit more uh, finished with that cave. Uh, that would be a, a good thing to knock out, is finish that first starter cave. Because once that gets done, I have a little basis to uh, to make more caves off of that and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Earth SMP. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>